Here we have a late 2014 Mac Mini that came in for EFI password removal. Customer said he forgot his EFI password and he wants it reset. Now I have more than several videos on YouTube where we reset EFI passwords for iMacs. The process is the same, but on those videos we flash a new firmware onto the EFI chip. And this one we're going to be doing it a little bit differently. We're going to extract the firmware that's on the EFI chip. We're going to search and locate the password block from within the firmware. We're going to clear it, save the file, and flash back that very same firmware onto the chip. So let's see how that is done. We're going to take a few minutes to disassemble this, and I'll be right back. I want to avoid using hot air because the EFI chip is right next to the Wi-Fi module and it's next to an FTC connector. So what I'm going to do is use low melt solder and remove the chip that way. That's the safest way. We're going to apply low melt solder to all the pins and that will lower the melting temperature of unloaded solder and most likely we will be able to remove that chip without having to use hot air. All right, and you see the chip is moving. That's it. Let's remove that chip and clean out the pins so we can put it in the programmer. Remove the solder off the pins. So we're going to seat the chip inside an adapter and we'll connect the adapter to the programmer. Just like so. Let's open up the programmer software so we can read from that chip and the chip that we are using is the third one on the list here. And now we can read from that chip. The programmer is currently reading the content of the chip and it's gonna display it on the screen. So now that the program read the firmware from the chip, we're gonna go ahead and save it. And let's call it something like Mac Mini late 2014 locked. Save. And what I wanna do now is open up a hex editor. I like to use uh, HXT, it's a free software. And we're gonna open up that file that we just saved, the firmware. And now to locate the password, we will be searching for the dollar sign, SVS. And that's the password right there, all the jumbled stuff here. We can select everything from the top to the bottom. And we're gonna clear out the password by filling those blocks with empty blocks. We cannot just delete this block and leave it empty. We have to fill it out. And we're gonna fill it out with FF, which means that the content here is gonna be filled out with an empty block. So we just filled out the password with empty content. Let's save the file. We'll call it unlocked this time so we know which file we modified.
Now let's flash the modified file onto the chip again. So we're going to load it here. Look for the unlocked. The new firmware is loaded here. And now we're going to click on program to program that new modified firmware onto the chip. It will take a while, not too long, maybe a minute or two, and we should have the new firmware or the modified firmware flashed onto the chip. That's it. Now let's prep the pads on the board so we can solder the chip back on. We're using leaded solder. Okay. Now the board is ready to accept the chip. Pin number one, as I have the board oriented, should be on the top right. And we're going to put a coin over the FPC connector so we do not accidentally burn or damage the FPC connector. Let's clean up, and if all went well, we should not be prompted for an EFI password. Just one final cleanup. It will take us a few minutes to reassemble this and we'll test it together. And the device will be assembled by Big Boss. I like to call him Big Boss because he can do everything. Just give it to him and consider it done. He was multitasking and he did those two computers together while working on something else.
So let's go ahead and try this. Oh, we do not want it to turn on yet. Let me plug the keyboard in. Uh, this drive that we have here has 10 partitions on it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the computer on while pressing and holding the option key. So now if we see the partitions that's on our external drive, that's good news, it means the password is gone. Oh, uh, we also need to plug our HDMI cable in. I forgot to do that. Let's try this one more time. Just a second. Nordic fix. Um, um, why don't you know the UV put back screen on the um, Samsung Galaxy Note 9? We do, yes. Um, can you give me a price, please? Yeah, just give me a moment. So we have the HDMI cable plugged in, we have the keyboard plugged in, we have an external drive plugged in, and we're gonna try to press the option key while the computer turns on so we can see the partitions on this drive. We should have about 10 partitions here. If we are able to see the partitions, that's good news. It means the password is gone. If we are greeted with a password to put in, it means we still have the EFI password. So let's turn this on. Press and hold the option key. and we should see the partitions on the drive. Right there, the password is gone. I can even try to boot up from one of the operating systems that we have here. Let's say uh, Sierra, and it's gonna boot up without any issues. That's it, the job is done. We no longer have an EFI password on this computer there everything is good so that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it and we'll do something else next time